Welcome to Collecting Weekly Live Unboxing. A big welcome to everyone. We are in the Shire this evening with the fellowship. We have Zach. What's going on, buddy? Jumbo. Jumbo, baby. Dean. Uh, Dean. Oh, my God. Jesus Danny. Jesus Christ. The <laughs> fellowship. See, when we said fellowship, I was. The heart was melting. We got Danny. Michael on, Bonin. <laughs> Scott. How's it going? Mr. Mendez. What's up, everybody? And the man of the hour, Mark. What's going on, brother? Oh, what's up, John? Thanks, brother. Thanks for tell having us, me. Tell us what you're going to be unboxing this evening. I'm going to be boxing the uh, Gimli uh, Asmus figure. Sweet. And he finally came in yesterday. But I wanted to, I wanted to uh, show the box first because... This is one of those you had to like use the jaws of life to like unopen it. Let's take a look. It. Holy man. <laughs> I like how they that? just put like a shitload of stamps on it. Yeah. They, yeah, Asmus does that. The good thing is they, they use um like corner protectors and stuff like that. So I mean the figure was fine and the box actually felt wet and it didn't rain like the last two days, so I I don't know what that was about. <laughs> so Wow. So the figure was out of the box, but it, dude, it was so hard for me to, to to let this guy sit out for 24 hours without opening it. I mean, that's a record for me. I know what a trooper. <laughs> we were trying yeah. to do it last night before the show, but it was very last minute, and it just so, did not work. So I haven't seen inside yet. So <laughs> here we go. Let's take a look. So first impression. Oh, dude, they, he comes with five axes. Yeah, he's wow, he's jam packed. Cool. Damn. All right. Where well, does, where does that in the ship from? Where are they? Uh, Taiwan. Oh, oh wow. I didn't and know. um, I mean, really, it, it came. I mean, it came pretty quick with the the COVID thing and stuff like that. Stuff takes a little longer. I think I I ordered um Frodo the ninth and got him the nineteenth. I ordered Gimli bad. and he Gimli would have been here Monday, but I wasn't home. So okay. What's going on, Badfish? Thanks we got for Badfish, tuning in. Equan, Elliot, and Joe P in the chat. What's up, boys? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Damn. This hair looks good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me pull him up. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at those I mean, braids. He's got a ponytail, which I wouldn't suggest to a normal human being, but it looks awesome on a dwarf. <laughs> wow. Damn, dude. Ugh. I can see the likeness too. All right, let me set let me set him up here. While I while I get get out his uh Wow, uh, Arxis, his... is there any way we can move Danny uh to move his cam down so we can just see him from the waist down? Hey, our... Type race. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's man? only fans, bro. Welcome to only, it's actually called Only Dan's. No. <laughs> oh yeah, only Dan's. Oh dude, okay. okay, well the helmet's cool. And uh Asmus, I mean, they almost have this. It's almost a problem. Some of their stuff, it's like too accurate. So the helmet here, I mean, it's got this that thin leather, which is fine, but it's got a little belt buckle. So I guess also, I have to like lift this. I have to have lift this beard up oh. and strap it in, because that's the problem I have with both. Um, I have Aragorn's belt and uh, Frodo's belt. It's like literally you have to like stress the leather to tighten the belt. Dude, I think you can just tuck it under the beard. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but okay. Hold on, let me let me pop this pop this on the sky. Be quite. careful with that hair. That's you're making me. <laughs> John, I had black gloves and I couldn't <laughs> find them. I was like, man, I was like, John's gonna love this. You right. should. Shoot. Fuck. Man. What's up, okay. Mario? It's just Michael Bond. I had. Hey. Oh, wow. Mario, what's up, baby? Hey, what's Mario. happening, what's up, fellas? Congratulations, Mark. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, okay, this motherfucker looks good. I hate to, <laughs> dude, I hate to say it, this guy looks good. God yeah, damn. So much better with the, the helmet oh on Oh, my yeah. God. Gimli, cool. son of Gloin. Mark, you're changing, two, you're, you're changing my opinion on uh, Asmus. Dude, Only he looks good one. for, for somebody that's one. 136 years old, dude. He looks fucking good. <laughs> what were you saying, Eddie? <laughs> I said only this one. Only this, this one? Yeah. yeah okay. This is. That, well, um, hold on. Let me let me pull up Galadriel. Sorry, I, I'm not good with the microphone. But her hair is really good too. I don't know if you can see her likeness. 
I thought those spaghetti for a second. She looks terrible. <laughs> How dare you? It looks, it looks terrible on camera, but in person, man, she looks so good. I actually got this from Danny. Can I see the face gold? Mark, Michael bring Vaughan your game down a bit. It's peeking pretty hard. Okay, I'm sorry. Testing one, two, three. Brian oh, P the, says the, the actor that plays Gimli is the tallest actor of the main cast. That's very true, my guy. That's crazy. That's a, that's a dude from Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah him in the chat. Reese, Reese Davis? Yo, from Rikas, man. Reese. I, I couldn't Bad Fish says, I want Lord of the Rings 1 6 scale so bad, but I have not took the dive because Star Wars and Spider Man are just nuts right now. You ain't lying, bro. Yeah. You ain't lying. What's going on, Dude, bro? Eddie, did you see that uh, Captain Rex, Kotobukiya? That they dropped? No, they, they, they announced one? I didn't see uh, it. It just yeah. dropped out about a half hour ago, I think. It, it like pairs up with the Ahsoka, so you can get the, the back, seven back scale. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, is that yeah. um, beautiful? Diecast? You touch, touch the, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say this has oh, to, wow. for, for the weight. This has to be diecast. This feels heavy in my hand. That's cool. Wow. Can you get a carrot oh and try to chop a carrot or something? Holy no, shit! I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Jesus. No, I, that I'm looks not, I don't, really well done. Oh my god, dude, that that feels so heavy in my hand. I can't believe how heavy it feels. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I right, I think the big axe goes. It hooks on his back, right? No, it goes in his hand, man. Well, that too, but I mean, I think when he's supposed to be carrying it, I think it's supposed to go on his back. I think he always carried it. Yeah, Danny, you have the book. Danny, Danny, can you pop the book open for me, buddy? Read us a chapter, Danny. Would you, good old Danny? Read us a chapter. Right, let me get some of these other axes out real quick. Yeah, that Rex looks dope, Zach. I just look very animated. Oh, so fucking clean. Okay, I might pick this one up, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I want, I want, really good. A little, I'm not gonna lie. I want this shit to chop wood. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I split. I split a lot of wood for uh, like campfires. So. Mark's gonna take that shit to the job site tomorrow. Oh my god, yes. You ain't lying. Ark says this uh, Gimli reminds him of the last <laughs> nude he sent uh, that Mario sent him. Hair everywhere with a wow. huge axe. You ain't wrong, <laughs> wow. bro. Uh, Damn. Did he use all I really love that they gave you all five axes. I I can't remember which one. I mean I think it was this one he used in the movie to uh and then it yeah. broke when he tried to strike the ring. Yeah, it looks which, like that I one, mean yeah. it didn't ha it didn't happen in the book though. So Yeah, the double blade didn't, goes it in the didn't back. Didn't happen in the book, it never happened or what? Is that how yeah, that's the goes? that's the weird thing about like Lord of the Rings. Like, a lot of people don't consider the movie canon, or any of the movies canon. It's like, if it didn't happen in the book, it just, like, didn't happen. It's well, a really it's, weird part of, like, Lord it, of the Rings it, stuff. It's really weird. Yeah, the really weird part about Lord of the Rings is the grandson is the one who kind of, like, pushed for the movie and all that other stuff. And literally, it the, the son of Tolkien stopped talking to his son because he didn't want the movies made. Oh shit! And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? They're they're fucking masterpieces. And wow. there's a cloak. Okay, well here and here's a uh, here's a little thing of contention. And we've talked about this. He's got the oh. freaking <laughs> Lothlorien fucking Lothlorien brooch. <laughs> and uh, he's got a fucking beard that covers <laughs> it up. So no, I guess you I'll should, be. You should take that from that one and then glue is it. Yeah. Removable? yeah, is it removable? Yeah, I'll be Frankensteining this this fucking thing. Dude, just message them. I would message them. Danny, you message you... them. You're the one with the uh, uh, dude. It's wait, you. Wait, who, who asked? Who asked if it comes off? I did. Let me let me hit you with this clip right here. Here we go. Share that audio. Oh, this is taking way too long. Are you gonna get a strike? I probably. It was, this was not worth it. Don't strike it. Absolutely not worth it. But that was in the book. Pippin. Oh, what the hell? They didn't even. What the Pip hell? They didn't Zach. even play the scene. Not well, idly the do the leaves of Lorien fall. God damn it. Yeah. I oh, wow. Bad. That's nice. You remember the line. Nice. I thought I thought they were going to fucking say it. What the hell? So, I'm, uh, if you're watching live, I'm so sorry. But 100%, and <laughs> that, that 100 percent happens in the book where he leaves that behind and Aragorn finds it and then gives it back to him once they get back to. Uh, I'm actually mad uh, for you Isengard. that you're. Frodo didn't come with one of those. Well, I'm upset because I looked on eBay and I couldn't find it. So I'm it's one thing right for now. the shit. It's one thing for the shit to be overpriced. It's another thing for it not to be available. 
You gotta give Asmus some credit with the accessories, what? the quality Dude. of the accessories and everything. Okay, okay, here's another yeah, thing. Here's another yeah, point. Definitely. Another point of contention. Now, okay, this... I would say this give me right out of the box. He's a 9 out of 10. Right out of the box. Wow. But... If I mean, I, I, it's it's a shame. He was flopping he just around. Him up by his leg. I, I read the I read the books, right? And I mean, it, it's it's part of the problem. And and in the books, it says that the cloak it looks like an evening, and it's kind of got a gray, and you can't really tell the color. Yeah. But I mean, literally, you could see Frodo coming from a mile away. He wears fucking teal. His cloak is teal. So yeah, but, but this, could that be his cloak before he hit Lothlorien? It it doesn't matter, dude. You, I see that guy from a mile away. They they talk <laughs> about in the books how uh, um, hobbits they're so fleet of so light of foot that um, uh, men don't usually see them. Definitely. But this Gimli, even this lighter color, than elves. I'm literally thinking about using just using his cloak on the. Uh, Does he have a different the, cloak when he's at the Black Gate? I don't, no, they, no they, it's they, the at same. that point they all it's had the a Lothlorien cloak. cloak. Yeah. Well, so at that point, it, it's different than the teal one he's wearing right there. But literally, the all the cloaks should be the same because they were all sewn by Galadriel, and her and her handmaids also. No, but I'm them. saying he had a different cloak before okay. Lothlorien. Yeah, yeah. I, which is the teal one, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I don't like it because I've seen, I watched a review, <laughs> I've watched reviews since then, Danny, and I agreed, and Zach showed me that, and I agreed. I'm gonna go, okay. Well, I, I, I'm from what I understand, the first version of Frodo came with, um. The Lothorian brooch. brooch, yeah. But I mean, this whole but the head sculpt's better. So I mean, I really rather ha still have his version. Can we but see the head also, sculpt there for Frodo? Did you fix his uh, his hips? Or are they okay. still? Hey, no, his his, his, leg, his leg comes up, his leg still comes up part. <laughs> okay. I mean, is there something yeah, we could fix, good. or is it like just dead? Well, do I send? Do I have to send it to you? It's literally oh, the I'm peg, not fly the leg you, peg. Bro. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> wait, 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 wait show me what's wrong. Wait, show I me thought what's you have wrong. a plane, bro. Show me, show me what's wrong. Okay, Not ready? Down. Watch. Don't do it. It's a magic trick. Oh. Okay, take it, all, take it all the way out. Take it all the way out. Ouch. <laughs> okay, so let me see what broke. So the, does it backwards? Oh, that's a rough one. Wait, so does that peg go into a hole, or is that just snapped off? It just snapped off. Did you try to glue it? So, no. <laughs> Why is that's it all just out of the box? sticky like that? I think it's just a flashing from the uh, from the oh, mold, no. I guess. Um, but what what I know what people do is they take like the you gotta uh, get like, a bolt. You gotta get a bolt. Yeah, you gotta get the bolt. So I'll be doing that at some point. I just didn't do I it mean, yet. If, if you need help with that, I mean, I can try. But that's that's scary, bro. Badfish says uh, I got my girlfriend. I would hit up hit up Asmus, bro. Tell him like yeah. this shit broke after a day, dude. Just cut the man off. Yeah, yeah I just don't tell him that I was like drunk and I had it on my end table and I knocked it on the floor. Don't don't you have to be that honest? Bro. Oh really? Jesus. Uh, Badfish <laughs> says I got my girlfriend now fiance one of those uh, brooches from eBay to leave brooches. It it oh. was like a pin, but she puts it in with the books on her shelf. Nice. But, I mean, oh, but like, cool. congrats so, on like, the fiance. Some of the stuff Asmus does, like the chain. I mean, that chain is like a really good, yeah, it's a little long, but it's such good quality, and the ring is super shiny that I'm so afraid to touch it. That's cool. That's what she said. <laughs> is, is the ring metal? Yeah, the ring's metal. Really? I'm, that's yeah. that's the yeah. thing I like about him the most. Everything that's metal is actual diecast. That's, that's amazing. The hell that's hot toys do really... that shit. Yeah, because no. hot toys are cheap. Bastards, 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 bastards. Bastards. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Zach, are you going to yeah. be able to heal the leg? <sighs> I mean, I what? think I could. You got to work your Daddy, Elrond you gotta, magic. Yeah, you got to... You know, no, he's yeah, gotta be yeah. like Elrond, man. Elrond's a healer. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it probably could be done, but that's that's a rough well, super glue that shit. spot, bro. Well it stands. <laughs> okay, what right. a broken well, leg and I think stands. I think it's the feet. What it needs to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, the feet probably you're right there. Oh, when this one comes with the stand. I was just trying to Okay, my air going comes with the stand to see uh so I guess Galadriel comes with the stand too. Okay, but to... my Frodo didn't. Sorry, go ahead. Is, is his hair supposed to be like Fluffed out, or is it supposed to be like? Does he have it a bra in a braid? Movie, I don't remember. I know when he has the helmet off, he has the braid out. It's supposed to be fluffed I mean, out back. a little bit, but it just—it's just right out of the box. In the back too. Uh, in he, the back, it's supposed to be in a braid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember from the movie mm -hmm. if he had the braid. Or okay, not. well that's that's a little bit plastic, but it, it looks—I mean, it looks good. 
my and in and a critique that Pete Pete had brought it up to me because I have my air oh, and my oh. fell. Oh, oh my you yeah, didn't make it. Don't worry, again. don't don't worry about you know what? Another thing about Frodo, <laughs> Frodo is brittle as shit, by the way. You know, if you think about it. He was brittle so like, as shit okay, in the movie too. Yeah, I'm like, good thing they gave him a mithril coat yeah. because that son of a bitch got stabbed plenty of times. He needs a mithril bodysuit. <laughs> yeah. But the, uh, like the Aragorn, I mean, that's real chainmail. That's Is real? That new Aragorn? Oh, nice. No way. Is that yeah, um, awesome. the regular or the deluxe? That's a, It's a regular version. It doesn't have the thing. This is the new one? Yeah. The Helm's Deep one? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I mean, everything... If we got... If we, if we got hot... If we got uh, Asmus body and accessories with Hot Toys portraits... Oh, boy. That's, oh, my God. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's... I mean, really, that's the only thing that's missing. Like this. Like this little sword. This is die cast. No, we don't yeah. want Asmus bodies. But if you, like, if you... I know you guys probably can't see it, but the printing is so clean when you have it in person. I mean, like the the accessories and so forth, the way it's presented. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't pose my figures, Danny. Anyway, so it's fine. How dare you? You ain't wrong, bro. <laughs> Called himself out. Put himself on the line like that. I have to. At that point, I someone else but is gonna say it, so like, I might as well um, just do it. <laughs> like the way you tie the belt is how they tie the belt in the movie, and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff just kind of like stresses me out a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How's how's the chain mail on Gimli? Well, Didn't the chainmail on Gimli, it looks like a, like a reusable grocery bag. It's not. Wow. That's the yeah. only thing. I mean, when I say it looks bad, I mean, it looks bad compared to oh Aragorn, gosh. who has actual. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sweating here. <laughs> don't, don't fucking rebuy shit from me, by the way. <laughs> Jesus, Marcus, Aragorn, son I'm pretty, of Aragorn. Yeah. But oh, this, oh, that like, does look bad. Oh, yeah. That looks cheap. Why? I, I thought it? Pete said they. They yeah. did a running change or something. No, well, Pete I Pete think, changed it. Yeah. Pete did his own. I, no, he, he mentioned said, there was a. They made they made a better chainmail. Oh, I was thinking he on he later ones. Chainmail or something. Do, no, he well, made I, his own too. But he oh, heard that okay. Asmus changed later runs of that, of Gimli. Did you Man, buy that from Asmus, so Mark? Fucking, yeah, yeah, I bought it directly from Asmus. And Didn't the thing about the Asmus the, too is the newer one then. They don't charge you shipping, and they don't charge you tax. So, I mean, to get a figure, I mean, this guy looks so fucking good. I mean, my camera doesn't do it, but he looks so good in person, and it cost me $210 to get it to my shipped. door. Wow. S- shipped nice. to my door. And, it's got, and he's got five die cast, you know what I mean, and extra did hands. You, did you That's have awesome. any difficulty with him crossing the border, like uh, fee-wise? Oh no, he's not yeah, Mexican. The dude. United States don't do that stuff. Oh, you guys don't do that. Oh. We're commercial no. shit, man. We don't pay nothing. Sometimes oh, well. they just hold it forever in customs. Yeah. yeah well, that's what I said, well, I was I was kind of worried in COVID because I used to order stuff from like Japan. I used to um, like Mandarake and stuff like that. I used to order stuff from there. So sometimes stuff gets stuck in COVID for like um, not COVID in customs for like three or four days. Mm-hmm. But this guy, he. I got a tracking number. The next thing you know, he was in Wilmington, Delaware, which is like half an hour from my house. Wow. And then I just wasn't home. Wow. If I was home, he would have been here in less than 10 days. Wow. I mean, from Taiwan. I mean, that's... that's he looks so, guys, he looks so good in person. I'm gonna yeah, well, the helmet makes the, the complete difference. It looks... Yeah. yeah. Well, the yeah. thing is, and I'm looking at it too, if you lift up... Right, now, of course, this doesn't matter. If you lift up his head from the back, it's like... Whoa. You know what I mean? It's like a yeah, Lego. But that's on. that's yeah. just. But that's, that's something just you don't a, notice. Yeah. And, that's not and like you said, I mean, there's only a couple times in a movie when he doesn't have wear his helmet. The mm. the part where he's telling uh, Eowyn that uh, Aragorn fell, and also when he's talking to Galadriel because he's got the hot war. <laughs> I remember Eddie talking about how cool it was. They like they talked about in the uh, in the extended cut they. He talks about getting a, a lock of her hair. Oh yeah, and that was a that was that a pretty was big dope. part. That was a pretty big part of the uh, book, and it had, um, and in the original theatrical cut, they didn't do any of that. So that was that was kind of cool. Man, God, I wish you guys could see his face. His face is hot, hot to his level. Yeah, I can definitely see the resemblance. Yeah. Man, I can't believe how much better he is than any of the other Asmus I have. <clears throat> Now is Beautiful. that um, 
It, the, the mustache there, I know the braiding's not sculpted, but is it not sculpted throughout the entire mustache, even under the nose? No. The only oh. thing is, and I saw this, because I watched Optical 20's uh, review, and he had brought it up, and then I'm kind of noticing it now. Um, and they did it with the Aragorn, even though the Aragorn is sculpted. They try to do like a little of a little bit of a paint job of like a transition. I don't know if you, you can't you can't see it on that figure, but there's like a little bit paint transition where they try to like uh, so it doesn't look so abrupt, but it almost <laughs> looks worse. It almost looks like it's stitched on there. Yeah, you got it, bad fish. Damn, such a bad camera. But a person, I mean, this guy looks so good. I'm so happy with this. So does Asma still have these available, or are they all gone, yeah. long gone? No, Ed, uh, Danny showed it to out. me, and they had, like, uh, they had like it up there for about five. three day, three days. Mm. But, like, stuff like this, I mean, all this stuff is tied on. Because, I mean, some of the Hot Toy stuff, it's, like, buckles and, I mean, which makes sense. They almost mm. try to go a little bit too realistic on some of this stuff sometimes, but, I mean, it looks really good, as long as you don't play with it. I mean, that's, like, a... A little sleeping bag tied up, but it, it looks really good in person. Mark, do you, you have the, um, the Crown Series Gandalf, or do you have it coming in? I have it coming in. Okay, it's I'm right here. I, it's it's oh, right there. Oh. I'm getting it from Eddie. Oh, you're so, on Danny's? I'm, I'm curious to hear your, your thoughts when you get it in, uh, well, the comparison between the Gimli and, and that. If Gimli should probably be, be um, Crown Series level. I, I can't get over how good it is. Because I'm one of those people, I don't like um, rooted hair. Just because I, when you grow up, you know Mario, because you've seen so many of like the Power of the Force 2, like dolls and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, The root yeah. of the hair, you just, in your mind, you think rooted hair, you think, okay, well, that just looks cheap. It looks dollish. But, I mean, how are you going to sculpt that? You can't. Yeah, no. The, no you had no, to turn out. There's a lot of deep. Yeah, it there's a lot of deep. It'll turn out looking like uh, well, Thor that just came out. I don't know. I was going to say that's what I was gonna say. I think Thor looks alright. Yeah, Thor looks okay, but then if yeah. it's not sitting straight forward and that hair's, you know, if you turn yeah. his head or anything, yeah. it looks dumb. And don't forget Gimli, that's hot Gimli toys. Gimli is a stronger figure than Gandalf Crown. Dude, I have both. Damn. You got both of them. Wow. Both of them. That Gandalf's gonna be another unboxing. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think there's yeah, anything better than. Yeah. If Gandalf. uh, what you call it? I'll get the money together and I'll send it to you tomorrow, Danny. So, go ahead and go ahead and start putting the shipping stuff in because. Oh. Wow. Now I'm a now I'm a little rooted hair whore. <laughs> That's high praise. <laughs> do you um Dude, do you have Legolas, Mark? The original. I have them on pre-order. I have the, oh, new, the one. new one. The new one. The Helm's Deep one on pre-order. Because I didn't think the original Legolas was terrible either. Like I he, thought it was not, decent. But yeah, when I watched reviews, I was like, ah, oh, maybe I should have just got that. But I, I imagine the new one's got to be better. Hopefully. Because because I mean we we were, we were talking about a lot. I want to get I want to get the nine. You know what I mean? I want to get the Fellowship. And it just sucks that you have to get, like, um, the Aragorn. I'd rather have the Ranger Aragorn as opposed to the Helm's Deep. But at the same time, this chainmail is really good. So, you know, I guess You're I can't, torn. Can't, can't. See, yeah, I'm, I'm opposite. Torn. I want to go Helm's Deep. But then also, it, it's tough because, like, um, like Pippin, when he's in the Gondor outfit, I kind of like that outfit better on him, where it uh -huh. has like the the tree of Gondor, and he's yeah. got his little chainmail on. Beautiful. And then, it, and if you read the books, um, Mary Mary has a real good relationship with Theoden, and they don't really do it at all in the in the movie. You, so for me, I would love hit um, Mary in a uh, Rohan outfit. You know what's cool about uh, the extended cut of Return of the King too? That they don't. I don't think they showed it in the regular one. Was um, the fact that Faramir and what's her name end up together. I don't yeah, they get they married. Show, Ewan. I don't think they show that Ewan. like their Thirsty, scenes bro. together no. in the regular Thirsty. one. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't know. Because that. um, everybody and, gets a turn. Real, real, <laughs> wow. yeah. But real quick Damn. in the in in the books, um, they think um, Aramir thinks Eowyn's dead. Yeah. So she she goes to the House of Healing, and so does Faramir. So literally, she's out, you know, in, in the movie, she, like, talks at Theoden. But when I t s tell you that Mary has a good relationship with him, in the book, when he, right before he dies, he talks to Mary. And then right, right, right before he dies, he points to the flag, and then he points to Aramir to tell him that he's king. 
And I mean, dude, it gets me. When I oh, read wow. it, it's the only time I can think of really in text that I literally get em- I get emotional reading the text. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? That's cool. And I kind of got that way. If you ever read the um, Revenge of the Sith book, I it, I mean, I hate to say that a movie book version, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it just adds so much. It talks so much about the relationship of just, you know, just what Anakin's going through. It makes, I, I always enjoyed Revenge of the Sith, but now it's literally hard for me to watch Revenge of the Sith after reading that book. Because the, to me, uh, it, it feels like a tra- it feels much more like a tragedy. The book, the last is, few pages of uh, yeah. of that book, when he's like getting encapsulated in the suit, is amazing. Oh, it is. He's okay, talking about so like you, what is the pain he's feeling and like all oh this my shit god, yeah, so fucking good. The book is always really, better dude, than the movie. He literally he did it all because he was worried about his wife and his children. And when you have kids and you have a wife, and you'll 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 find this out, John. When you as soon as you have kids, man. It will, the world's just different to you. I mean, I'm, yeah. I've always been like a, uh, I'll hug, I'll hug a friend and, you know, I'll cry during movies kind of guy. But man, once I had kids, it was it was over. Because it was, I mean, it's it's hard for me to watch the movie Coco sometimes. <laughs> Anakin also been like, fuck them kids though. Movie, dude. When he Everybody starts doing that, remember me Coco. shit. Ugh. Trevor says the Helm's Deep Aragorn sculpts are not good. Dude, that, oh, this cape is pretty... The cape's nice. The cape's nice. I like the but drape the, of that. It drapage. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know what it feels drapage. like? If drapage. um, if any of you guys have the Anakin or the Obi-Wan, yeah. for some reason, those yeah. both their capes drape so fucking well. Mm. Yeah, Obi-Wan. I used to have I'm Obi-Wan. trying to think Obi-Wan. of who else's capes The like. Mando. I like the way the Mando uh, yeah. capes drapes. I got the Mando. I got the Mando in the bedroom, actually. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> wow. Jesus, bro. Got a whole Dude, he was a good there. figure. It, it took me so long to get that guy. I, I wanted to spend some time with him. <laughs> I remember I remember. Uh, Mark every week would go by in the Patreon chat. Uh, fuck, I still haven't Dude. got it. Still. <laughs> Dude, I told this. I'm starting to think. I mean, as far as figures from Slideshow, I think that's the only figure I got this year. Yeah. And I mean, I paid for him in January. And it took me, I don't know, what was it like? I've, I've had him for maybe six weeks. Yeah. Well, because, I mean, I, I paid for him in full because I started seeing reviews online. So I was like, okay, well, he'll be coming any day now. And, you you know, you try to be patient because of uh, COVID and stuff like that. But I'm one of those people. Once you have my money in your hand, my patience runs out. Of course. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just going to get him with a We're going to get him with a nice pose with some axes in his hands. And yeah, okay. Let's ch- let's, let's change the pants. I'm sorry. He put all the axes on him. That's what I'm that's that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's see the accessories. What does he come with? Wait, Besides all the, the axes? axes. How many does he come with? He comes like with five. five five axes. Wow. Why? Cuz that's how many five. different axes he has. And they're all die cast. Yep. Amazing. Oh, all wow. die cast, Mario. No, I had no idea he he uh, carried that many axes. Okay, so we have the double bladed has, axe. What's going on, he, Jimmy? It's a two hand well, the two handed axe. That goes has, in the big um, ring in the back. Has Asmus made any Hobbit figures? Like from the Hobbit Hobbit movies? They yeah. made um yeah. the Gandalf is from the Hobbit movie. Oh really? But they they made But uh, it's Thor weird because it comes Thor, with the, Thor and Oak and Shield is yeah, almost the Thorn, uh, Gimli yeah. level. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I think it looks pretty I've cool. never seen that Thorn. It's weird because they call the Gandalf the Hobbit version, but it, the base is from the bridge from Fellowship, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. But he has the oh, Hobbit staff. He has three staffs. One of them's the Hobbit staff. The bridge of oh, Kazad okay. Kazad Doom, where he's fighting yeah. the Balrog. Mm-hmm. And it, yes, yeah, so that's definitely yeah. One six shooter says, "Don't try to put the axe on the belt." Oh, what? well, I'm doing it. Oh, wait, no. why not? Just be- I'm assuming just because it's die cast and heavy, so it doesn't damage the belt. Nah, you know what? Yolo. <laughs> Don't buy this figure from me if you're in the chat. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Fuck Beautiful. it, dude. It looks really how's good. The, how's the body feel, Mark? Pretty solid. It dude. feels really stiff. No, that's good. That's what she said. Which, which is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to it's think. All night with Mark, it's too easy. All, all these figures are actually pretty stiff, except Frodo, which I dropped from a elevated. Oh, so you broke area. his leg? Jesus. Oh, uh, dude, it was me. Shoot oh, I thought it came that way. No, I was telling those guys, when I get a figure and I end up liking it more than I thought I should, I have an end table. 
and yeah. I'll always put it on the end table. And then like, yeah, I'll be yeah, like, right before cool. I go to bed, instead of playing with my dick, I'll play with a figure. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Disagree, wow, but okay. All the but time. It, but, it, but of course, uh, I, you know, I do construction. And for me, like, Both I get stuff cheap. So a lot of my floors in my house are tile. You got to wash your hands more. before you touch the figures. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll never You're buy gonna buy a figure from Mark. It's gonna look like never. that Gandalf I got. No, no. Well, it depends. It depends. It, it, so now we know on Frodo it wasn't glue. I was say, where's the? I have the. Where, where's the weather vane? Can you see it? Oh, that looks sick. Mm -hmm. oh, that's for Mario. That's no, it's Here. not. I ain't buying that. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> oh, I ain't touching that. No, actually, no. The the DX07 is a different level. I was afraid it's that I've, I I actually had white gloves when I when That's I uh, play with him. Yeah. And you know I people you. Okay, listen, the <laughs> Well, I'm not sell, I'm not he's not for sale. Well, they anymore. were black when he started. Yeah. But um <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. If you, if you if you want to talk about Mark Hamill like face golfs and stuff like that, none of them are accurate. No. But no, the DX07, it lo it looks like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> No, I think the so, uh, the crate Luke looks pretty good. The uh, the crate Luke the is that's a great Indoor sculpt. Jedi. Yeah, I think the crate Luke's pretty good. Yeah, all the yeah, old, but old, yeah, but when you talk when, when when you're thinking about Luke Skywalker, do you think about Luke Skywalker on crate helmets, or helmets? do you think about Luke Skywalker fucking fighting? Uh, Darth I definitely Vader? don't think about him fucking. I've always liked the Return of the Jedi <laughs> sculpt. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't like it. <laughs> helmets help, right? I think the Return of the Endor one doesn't look bad with the helmet on. With the teeth all out, I think it looks great. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, with the wind up here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was gonna say That's he's up there. He's up there mm -hmm. too. That's the one I got. Oh, you have uh, Endor Leia. Damn it. Oh yeah, man, she's That's such a, a good figure. One. I fell asleep on that one. Great figure. Her and uh, Wicket's are, Wicket's great too. He's he's got really good articulation. Yeah, I had an opportunity to buy one locally, really cheap, and yeah, you snooze, you lose. Oh. Did I leave? No, no, you're still here. here. Actually here. I closed bring, the window. I'm sorry. Bring your his camera. Hands are, his hands are so damn tight. Bring your, bring camera, your camera down camera a bit. Man. I just see your head. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. That beautiful face. <laughs> what a guy. My face that has a freaking. Uh, I'm currently on. What am I on? Steroids and antibiotics. So my face is all bloated. These it's hands just, switch out pretty good. Always Sean, Mr. Sketch. John's having always. a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm getting nervous. I hear noises. I don't see anything. That's why. It's... Well, I got sweaty hands all over these things. So there's, I got that grease. Oh my god! <laughs> Huge grease. That's why you wear gloves. <laughs> Do you learn nothing from John? Jeez. That's dude, I have a, a prerequisite for uh, unboxings going forward. It's, dude, it's 67 degrees in here, so I'm not sweating. <laughs> I'm good. I like uh, that. Looks awesome. Dude, Man, the diecast makes. Such a difference with the accessories. Oh, that's a great. That's oh, a great. It just oh, shines so much better. Mm. That's so cool. And uh, what is it? Is it Balin's tomb? It's Balin's tomb, right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. His Rest uncle? in peace. Or one cousin. Was Balin in the Hobbit? He was the yeah. one with the white beard. The, yeah, oh, the, the old, real old, the older one. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't well, even three, three, that. So three, sad, bro. three, three of Damn. the three of the thirteen actually die, die there. And then the one with the bowl cut, the one that's like, is there any chips? He's the one holding the book. <laughs> yeah. The tomb. Oh damn. The youngest oh, one, right? Yeah. Is this and the then, Hobbit uh, you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. And then oh, I. Spoilers. But it's not. In, it's not in the movie. It, it happens oh. between. Yeah. So. yeah. And then I think what Mark, which is the Hobbit that dies from the uh, the the uh, Watcher in the water. Is it the one with the ear horn? Yeah, yeah, the one that yeah. can't hear so well. I yeah, I, I always get their names mixed up. Yeah, they're literally like when you when you like talk about the seven dwarfs, you're like Dory, Ori, Nori, more. Uh, it, it gets me confused. Owen, oh, dude, I'm so Owen, excited for John Owen. to watch the M4. Dow. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Dallin, I'm, I really want, I'm looking forward to that big time, guys. Dory, Ori, Nori. Dallin is a Biff badass. For bomber. Biff for bomber. Bomba's Bomba, the big one. Bomba, Bomba's the fat one, yeah. <laughs> just a no, quick. Dallin, uh, Dallin was a badass dude. From single Jeez. songwriter, just to go back to Luke for a second, he said uh, the Mandalorian Luke will have the best head sculpt, and it will be the first television masterpiece series of Luke Skywalker that Hot Toys will make. Expect perfection when announced. Well, I hope so. Mm -hmm. Wish they'd announce it. I'm trying to think. I I sold my A New Hope Luke recently because the head sculpt wasn't that great, so. Just I only have. On him. I only think I have six Luke's now. Yeah, I was a little wow. off that one. 
I have the Jedi Luke, the DX 07s. I, I have won. the Endor Luke, <laughs> the Stormtrooper Luke, and the Old Man Force Awakens Luke. Yeah, that I was never, awesome. I, oh man! I keep... Besides the axes, any other accessories? Not really, other than the cape. You, you got really okay. You got more. four four hands, a couple extra pins. Okay. The oh, five you die cast. The, you didn't get the three strands. No, the three <laughs> strands of a Galadriel. <laughs> also, need three. Just pluck them off the figure, dude. dude. Oh, yeah, they're right yeah, they're gonna be so curly. Use those real metal axes to cut some off. You guys, you guys have to really listen to that audio book. But I mean, this guy gets so hard up for for El, for uh, Galadriel. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Book. I'm not gonna it read someone's soul. <laughs> um, what I do? Mark, so can you yeah. pose? I I did that. <laughs> um, Mark, can you pose Aragorn tossing Gimli? <laughs> oh you yeah, got to oh, you got to toss me. <laughs> don't, tell, don't, don't, don't tell the elf. Don't tell the elf. <laughs> Dude, I love I love the com comedic part they put of Gimli. Oh, he was um, the, he was the comic relief for the movies. Yeah, yeah. but as yeah. far as like in the book, in the book they did the um, you know, I did forty two, you did forty three. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. That was one hundred percent in the book. But other than that, really? a lot of the wow. stuff they added. Mm. So Gimli really did beat him in uh, that Battle of Helm's Deep. Yeah, but in the movie, it looked like like us. Yeah, well, yeah. in the movie they show it. Yeah, but but in the like book there's, us. in I know. the book there's even more than the, the king. Yeah. Every time, I know. Dude, yeah. I always mess up. Man. I always want to say Lego. How do you pronounce it? Lego Legolas. 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 I can say Legolas really quick. It's not his Frodo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that action. Oh, let me get... That chainmail's on point. Dude, it, it is so good. I'm so afraid to touch it. I don't know. A, it looks like Eddie? it flares out too Eddie? much. <laughs> what, what did she say? <laughs> he said that. <laughs> hey, Mark, any update for the uh, Prime 1 Balrog? <laughs> um, I'm waiting on some other stuff to say, like stuff that's not collectible, like, mm -hmm. like tools and stuff like that to sell. And I'm trying to get it one of those where there's no money moved around in the checking account. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you're really going for it then, huh? Yeah, you can't let the wife know that you're spending thirteen hundred dollars <laughs> on, on an item that's not like college tuition and a vehicle. <laughs> they may, hey, they may not even go to college, dude. You dude, know. if you get if you sell that rogue, yeah. it'll it'll take a big chunk of it. Well, I I started thinking about that, then I saw the rogue's cheeks. Man, I, I I love I love Rogue so much. Danny, are you trying to get him to sell you his Rogue? Can't lose him. No, kicks. I don't want it after he touches himself. Wow, <laughs> wow, Danny. I guess I guess you're not gonna sell him. Well, you you're gonna. messed up. That that Rogue spent that Rogue spent like three months in my bedroom. That's how much. That Rogue has seen some shit. She's <laughs> not to You gotta put a black light up to that Rogue. Jeez. <laughs> that's gone through. Got that's gone through Mark right and Eric Ruiz. Well, when <laughs> when you're when you're my age, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, have as much range as it used to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's out of the splash zone, huh? Uh, it's out of the splash zone for 100%. Didn't... That's a wrap. <laughs> you know, when you're, when you're 18, dude, you got you to gotta check the curtains when you're 18. Man. When you get to my age, you got to... When you get my age, you got to watch, mm. your, watch your... You got to look at your shoes, you know what I'm saying? Wow. You're going to love in your 40s, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, you're exactly. gonna love it in your forties. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mario's like you're lucky if it even comes out at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> I can't believe this. What was that Look noise? Some of the detail, like, what was that noise? Noise? <laughs> That's Mario's penis. <laughs> that looks good. But uh, cool, <laughs> just puttering I heard, out. <laughs> I heard some people uh, like critique critique oh, this shit. Aragorn because. Um, they're like, oh, his, his hands look like he was making, uh, like, wine and shit like that. But if you look in the movie, when he falls down the cliff and stuff like that and comes back, and he's, he's pretty beat up. And it's all bloody, but, I mean, in person, it looks really good. Here's a question of the knees. night. Which, him falling down the cliff wasn't in the book either, but... Do they bend backwards? You want you... <laughs> the, oh, I heard, I mean, oh, it's oh still. my god. Oh, yeah, I heard that. that is I heard stiff. that. Stop. Oh, that's gonna break stop. Thing, Please, Mark. That's loose. 
That's way I too loose. I beg you. I'm putting some good force on there. He's going to join the, the shelf with Frodo there. Mr. Sketch <laughs> said, is this After Dark? The no, leg After Dark starting in about 20 minutes. <laughs> we're moving into After Dark. Yeah, we're still doing After Dark. We're gonna I'll say, I, guess that's, I guess that's it. That's an amazing break. figure, Mark. Man, this Congrats, is man. Yeah. If that's there's, Aragorn a, if sword, there's ever this, one that I want, it's that that's one. That's cool. So I just can't bring myself to go for it because having just one would piss me off, I think. Well, that's why you don't get. You got to get the nine. No, no. They're not worth it, dude. <laughs> it's not worth it. It would piss me off, man. So, Mark, this was uh, this unboxing was awesome. You started the uh, the ring cast. You got your first episode under the belt. Yeah, dude, um, I struggled so bad in that, and I'm, I I really appreciate you guys being so positive on me. And I now that I know, kind of, you know, it's just like anything first show else. is the hardest, man. First show is the hardest, man. The Trust time. me. You should have seen mine and Mario's. If you were there I live, did, you would have saw. He fucked up so like four times, dude. We had to start. Yeah, you better not quit after the third <laughs> show, bro. You'll be all right. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Wow. We're, we're clipping that one. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, but, Mark, uh, we had we had like four starts before we got it going. But that's fine. Yeah. We, we edited them out and no one will ever see those. Yeah, I it was a couple times where Zach's like, Poopers. okay, Mark. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was so. Dude, I literally, you know, I froze up. I froze up so much. I was so <laughs> worried that Zach was going to be like, you know, this isn't working out, man. Sorry. <laughs> no, like, no. Dude, literally, literally when we started, I was like, all right, here's, here's how, how I kind of imagined the cold open or like kind of like the beginning. Now, because I was like, Mark, you know, give me like your opening, like how you want to start the show. And then I guess just it never got done. So it's like, all right, here's here's my idea for how I'm going to do it. Like, we're going to talk for a bit. And then Danny's going to go, my Govanen. And then we're going to start the show. And like we start yeah. and I, like everything's going good. And then I like I was like, Danny, just like when I stop, like come in. And he goes, Jumbo, dude. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I was like, dude, you guys got it perfectly, though, on yeah, the actual, exactly. on so the edit when you, at, Yeah, that was great. After after our first show, you kind of played an in and out clip of our first one. Is there any chance we're going to get a blooper clip from this? No, I was going to say, what if I you I mean, save, with Mark's permission. <laughs> what if you, you save show? bloopers from a bunch of shows, and then at the end of the year, do like a blooper reel or a gag reel? That would be pretty cool. Well, that's or all the clips. Like, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. I guess you're right. Uh, I mean, that's up to Mark. If he wants to play his, uh, his, mis his, his error, that's up to Mark. Oh, they're pretty, you get about a good half hour just out of that. <laughs> I felt so bad because, um, Pete. I have it pulled I mean, up right what, here. I think Pete, it was oh. like two, it was like after two a.m. Save it for After Dark. You can pull it up in After Dark because then people won't be able to see it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so, call. it was so, <laughs> it was so cringeworthy that I had anxiety about, Every like when Zach's like, oh, I'm gonna post it in a half an hour, and I'm like, oh, I'm like I'm too I'm too sober for people to see this. No, the the first episode's always the uh, the hardest. Once you get yeah. second, third episodes under the belt, uh, it becomes like breathing at that point. Yeah. Now, Did you uh, watch it, Mark? Did you watch your own episode? Um, my my brother showed it showed me showed me uh, a couple parts. Cause I still Where he's don't... making fun of me. I don't watch uh, shows over again if I'm on them. Yeah, I still don't. I don't. I, like mean, I did that in the beginning and then I stopped. I don't know I if do. it's like I don't know if it's like you guys. Um, what, the voice you hear on a recording is yeah. It doesn't you don't no, I don't recognize it. I don't recognize yeah, it at either. all. Yeah. Wait, so then, are uh, we are we playing the intro right now or not? The blooper or not? I thought we were gonna track. do it on after. Dark. We'll do it on after. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We're still gonna take like a five ten minute break before. Yeah, after that's dark. fine. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just want to yeah. make sure I had it queued up. I didn't know if we we're doing it. Or yeah. Well, well uh, how about for episode two? What do you have planned? Episode two, we're going to talk about... That's why I want everybody to listen to that um, audio version of the Fellowship. Because we're going to talk about the book, Fellowship, compared to the movie. And then our topic's going to be Gandalf. So we're going to be going real deep into Gandalf. Awesome. And then at that point, Zach should yeah, have real his... Real deep into Gandalf? Zach Wait, so episode, a, episode two, are we doing the... How are you having M4? Yeah, well, so if he's going to be on, but, but that hasn't episode, been confirmed yet, right? Yeah, so for episode two, I think we are going to talk the book, but I think Gandalf is going to be his whole, his whole episode by himself. But we have uh, the guy that made the Hobbit edit, the M4 edit. He uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, and he said he wants to come on episode two to talk about his edit. So we'll talk. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know. I didn't uh, know. Fellowship and then M4. That's but cool. we do have a giveaway. Uh, thanks to some Patreonies. Uh, we have a 4K. It, it, the code is actually for six movies. It's the 4K uh, extended and theatrical 
Lord of the Rings trilogy. All you have to do is go to the announcements post and uh, put a comment, a question about Lord of the Rings, and um, we'll do a drawing. We'll answer all the questions, and we'll do a drawing for uh, for the code. Now, Zach, are we planning to watch the M4 edit before the show? Uh, so I'm hoping... So we're going to introduce the M4 edit, so that would probably be like episode three, maybe. Okay. Where we were, between episode two and three, we'd, we'd all watch yeah. it. Okay. Epi- episode two would be like a trailer, because we have another giveaway coming up, where it will be a, a literal physical copy... Yeah, I don't know if you want to talk about that, Zach. Go ahead. You, you talk <laughs> okay. About yeah. It. yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Zach, we will um, now. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't yeah sorry, on. Zach. Okay. So, no, that's fine. Okay. So, introducing so, uh, your new yeah uh, race castles. Jesus. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we we looked into getting the M4 edit because the guy that makes it, you can just download the file and put it on a flash drive. Damn, but I have all my Lord of the Rings like physically and also digitally, and I want it in both formats. And mm-hmm. so he makes the Blu-ray ISO, so it has like the the disc menus and like you know chapter mm-hmm. names and stuff like that. Cool. And so there's a company in Texas called the Replicopy, and they they do uh, for like companies that produce like their own Blu-rays or whatever. They basically make Blu-rays, uh, and they also do like smaller commissions. So if you have like family stuff you want to digitize or move from like VHS to DVD or Blu-ray, they do all that stuff too. So. Um, we we Sorry. talked to them and uh, we <laughs> put in a, me. <laughs> we're putting in an order for six sets, oh, and basically it'll be a, a two disc box set with like the official art on the back uh, that M4 supplies, and then the discs are gonna be like laser uh, printed, so they're gonna basically look like retail discs. They'll make you and those even though it's wow like pirate. So so well, it's a fan edit, so it's not um, fan art. Yeah, it's fan art, right? <laughs> And mm-hmm. and the qualifier was like they would only do a certain number, so they're they're not gonna do like a thousand. Oh, right? oh, so okay. I just told them we only needed like six. That's cool. They said they would make us more if we needed them, but th- I think it's kind of like an it's understood like they're not making them f- like uh, they they asked me explicitly like these aren't for sale, right? Oh. And and the answer was of course no, they're just for it's my friends and for giveaways. Um, Wink. It's a fan art project, right? But uh, they yeah the art is is done by M4 for the discs and the. Uh, Question. The, uh, yes. Are they gonna put like the Ringcast logo on it or something like a? No, because we movie? we didn't we didn't we didn't make anything. Like it's all M4 stuff, so we didn't change anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I think that would be rude to like just slap our logo on it. Um, <laughs> well, but... I mean, like a special CW promotion or whatever. Well, I, I don't. Maybe wanna... in the future. Maybe in the yeah. future. Yeah. At any rate, so we ordered six sets. Okay. Danny wanted one. Mark wanted. Uh, I think one or two, and I want a one or two, and then I think we're gonna try to give one set away for the last one, for episode three or four of Ringcast. So, how much nice. does it cost? Do you want to? Do you want? <sighs> um, it was actually very reasonable. Um, most of the cost was, um, so like when you do small batch stuff like that, they do what's called the setup fee. Um, so that's why like when you buy hats, it's cheaper. It's almost cheaper to buy like ten hats than it is to buy like yeah. two, because most yeah. of that is just the initial setup. So the initial setup for the laser etching of the discs for disc one and disc two, because we had to pay it twice, was like 40% of the cost. But basically each set comes down to like a little bit over 20 bucks. Oh, wow. So okay. very, very reasonable because yeah, I, mean, yeah. yeah. I was expecting, you know, 60 bucks a set. And then when they told me like, oh, we're actually printing the disc sleeve too, I was like, oh, hell yeah, because that, that was shit yeah. I was going to have to do. And this is, awesome. the, this is the edit for The Hobbit, the three uh, Hobbit movies, correct? Yeah, so this guy took because because the Hobbit book is actually the shortest of of all four books that were written, mm-hmm. right? So um, if you think about it, they took the shortest book and they made it into as long of a trilogy as the three the three huge mm-hmm. books, right? So they added a bunch of filler. Yeah. So um, this guy is basically trimming all the fat of that, and this is what the the disc art will look like, or the the um, the wow. sleeve art. So it wraps oh, around that looks the. Awesome. Thing wow, so it has his cool. logo M4. You must own official copies of the Hobbit movies to order, in order to fully legally watch his fan made edit. And uh, and real quick, when uh, Zach talks about how much shorter it is, it's almost like a third. Of yeah, so one of the books. It's not even just like it's a. Full, I mean, I f- I forget how much it is. It's like uh the 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 trilogy. This is what the discs will look like, like when they're printed. Pages. Wow. And the that Hobbit book, legit. I think it's like 150 pages. Now, can yes. people go to a site and pick this up? No. 
you can download the files. You'll just have to find your own company to produce them or okay. produce them at home. So um, this guy took the original trilogy is eight hours and 19 minutes, and he cut it down to four hours and 14 minutes. Half wow. the damn. Wow. That's crazy. And one, so, uh, real quick, one more critique on this Gimli. I'm just seeing it now. This, they give you a full-size stand. So this motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker, this motherfucker floating. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, Brian Damn P it. says it's considered fair use if it's not for profit. Yeah, Damn it, yeah, we're we're <laughs> what the we're, hell, dude? <laughs> funny, dude. Yeah, Mark and I are both spending our and Danny are also spending our own money to produce it. So. Try pushing the cradle yeah. down, Mark. Oh, we are. Wow, that was Mark. pushed all the if way down. Oh, you said you were gonna crazy. pitch in, oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> no, the metal part. How dare you? I just kidding. Oh, okay. Oh no, no. Okay, it does go down. It was just real stiff. Jesus, Mark. I'm embarrassed. That's a. I'm real drunk. User, that's, that's user the error. Drunk user Okay, it's, per, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right, boys. We got 34 nice, people bro. watching. We will see you guys in about 10 minutes on 10 After minutes. Dark. Peace and love. Thanks so much for everybody. Stay tuned. Tune Jumbo, in. baby. Mark, Thanks, guys. Jumbo. I really Thanks. appreciate it. See you guys soon. Damn, my capes are fucking good. I want to I start wearing capes. <laughs>